Okay, we're backstage at the music show with Temperamental Miscellaneous, who had the honour of greeting President Michael D. Higgins earlier on today. How was that for you? Were you nervous? Ah, uh, well, I was, there was some adrenaline, sports of adrenaline throughout the performance, but generally I was just calm and prepared and stuff like that, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, that, those little sports of adrenaline drive the kind of spontaneity throughout the performance. So yeah, to a degree, like, but it was more, it was an honour of a thing to do, so it was very much so responsibility oriented and driven. Uh, it was very like the kind of the mix of, you know, the bear on the Irish song, then the rap. Like, uh, do you think you surprised people today? I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's because I think there's more of a platform there, so people are checking it out and they're, uh, yeah, they're seeing me marrying that hip-hop culture with this bell run playing on this shanty lilting song style, uh, uh, and yeah, I think probably people were, well, I've seen a couple of people, mm, you know, this, so the expression there is probably evident of surprise and delight, hopefully. Do you find that like it's kind of, it's kind of hard that maybe people in this country have a strange feeling about what hip hop is? There was a documentary on TV recently which you were you were featured in. Um, have you watched it back yet? Yeah, I did. I seen I seen it, and uh, yeah, well, I mean, just out here, Niall was was saying uh, he was introduced me to a gentleman, and this and this this gentleman said, uh, oh yeah, well, I seen the temperamental miscellaneous on the uh, on that documentary on RTE. I think the producers' intentions were, were pure, or I think probably a little, maybe they were a bit naive, because it, the hip hop scene is probably, a, no, not probably, is a lot broader than what was presented. You know, but, um, yeah, well, he was introduced to this gentleman, like, and, and he said, oh yeah, this guy, when he, when he recognised, he said, yes, I've seen her, and then he said, uh, uh, keeping it real in Vingless, and I said, yeah, well, that wasn't quote from my mouth. I said, if I was to say something like that, I'd definitely paraphrase it temperamental style. So I'd make it, you know, if, if you watch it, it's evident, hopefully, my temperamental miscellaneous is there, you know, what I'm about. I mean, that encompasses all of my persona and my morals and principles or whatever, and my artistry, all of that, my creativity, it encompasses all of that. And, uh, Hopefully that emanated from what all the segments, my presence there in all those segments for that. So uh, then again, I don't, I don't know how accurate it is. That's just me. I'm just one hip hop artist, and, and, and I did my toe in the water of hip hop as well. As we were saying, Dave, you know, I cross over a couple of genres. So you know, um, we'll see, like if it if it defines what hip hop is, it's still growing and being cultivated and elevating itself. Uh, are you a Rubber Bandits fan? Actually, to be honest, no, because not that I'm not, I'm just not in the now. I I was calling their song, their main song, My Lovely Horse, or a long while by mistake. I was referring to it incorrectly, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know a lot, to be honest. I, I, I caught a glimpse, I don't actually own the television, but I caught a glimpse of my, one of my, manager, my manager's house on the TV, one of their videos, and it was quite, um, I see it was quite pristine and crystal, like this. Uh, their, their video and uh, that kind of just caught my eye but uh, you know I, I haven't really indulged in, in like uh, listening to anything to be honest I'm, I'm probably very self indulgent because I'm just caught up in my own thing at the moment but that doesn't mean there's not room for, for inspiration there always is and um, like looking at new artists and I'm very into collaborating and stuff like that and being very versatile and diverse in styles and genres and crossing over as we've discussed before but I've not been, I've not been, I'm not really familiar with them to be honest with you. Um, you, you are something of a social commentator though, your lyrics are very much about the world around you and even the state of the country these days so like, do you like do you kind of want things to get better, or would that mean, would that stifle your, your creativity? How would that work for you? Do I want things to get better? So yeah, actually, well, obviously everyone does, but I mean, like, do you kind of feed off that kind of thing? Do you think I'd lose out with lyrical content if things that we lived in utopia all of a sudden? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Um, no, I mean, well, I don't know. It's like, what I talk about is very much on a local level, on, 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 a, on an inward level, about an inward revolution as opposed to what I set up at the panel on activism and music, you know, it's the in, in, inner revolution, not all the politics necessarily maths and statistics of, um, you know, uh, like, like uh, public entities and, and official bodies in society and all this, bringing it right back down to school, to waiting on the bus stop and having a beatbox with some of the guys I work with in a youth club down the road, you know, who recognise me and, and who appreciate me as an individual. 
but like I mean, there's always going. There's like I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but like uh, I'm just gonna keep doing what I do and, and hopefully um, evolve with it. Well, I, not hopefully, I will because it seems to happen organically anyway. Just evolve with it, move with it, and not have any resistance to change and stay open-minded and just try to educate and teach based on whatever is required of me as an individual and as an artist and as a, a citizen in society as a person.